Hello, welcome back to Learn Chinese Through Stories. Today, we will learn how to make a self-introduction by writing and by speaking. Okay, so end of this lesson, you should be able to write a self-introduction note. And you will be able to tell people what's your name and what's your last name. Okay, let's start. Okay, before we learn to write complicated characters, we need to start with some simple ones again, like what we did yesterday. Okay, the first one, shou, shou means hand, shou, hand. How should we write this character? Okay, there are three lines with a hook. Look at your palm. Count. How many lines there? Hmm. You already people have three. I hope you have three too, right? Okay. Three lines. Let's start with the three lines. And one hook. That's your arm. Okay. The arm and three lines. Show. Hand. Show is a pictographic character. Show. Okay, next one. G, e, together. G, g. It means dagger. Mm, dagger is kind of a knife, right? Kind of a sharp. And look at this, okay? With a sharp hook. And here is a handle, okay? Let me draw it again. The handle and this, the hook. And you may ask, oh, then how about this? Yeah, you may use that dagger, cut your envelope. Maybe this piece of paper. And some scratching paper there too. Okay, dagger. G, G means dagger. So we have a shao, hand. G, dagger. Good. Okay, next one. Kou. Call mouth, mouth. You draw a square to represent. This is a mouth. Okay. Whenever you need a character, which means you talk, you ask, you need this mouth radical there. This part in the character. Next one, two. Two means dirt, soil, dirt, soil, two. How can we remember this one? Okay, you want to plant some plants. You have a top soil, second layer, put your plant in. Okay, two, dirt, soil. Let's start over again. Show, hand. Dagger, call, mouth, to, dirt, or soil. Okay, you got this one? Okay, now let's move to this side. Try to talk about some complicated characters. The first one we will learn today is wo, wo. It means I or me. Wo. Let me put this character here, okay? Wo. What did you see? This part. Oh, that's the hand. That's the hand. Okay, and the right part. What did you see in the right? Oh, dagger. Okay, so wo is made up of hand and dagger. So your dagger in hand. Okay, that's me. That's me. You may think, oh, that's pretty brutal. Oh yeah, Chinese characters were invented thousands of years ago. At that time, to be or not to be, it's always a question. You're gonna live or die. You're gonna protect yourself. Every day, when you come out of your cave, 
you have a good chance to be eaten by any animal. So you have your anger in your head. I, me, Remember? Okay, let's try it again. You have your hands and the dagger in your hand. Okay? Wo, I, me. Did you get it? Don't forget, you need a weapon to protect yourself. Now, now, okay? I mean, thousands of years ago. Okay, the second character pronunciation. 叫, 叫, to be called, to be called, 叫. If you want to call somebody, you need the mouth. That's right. Okay, let's try to write this one. Let's, you need the mouth. Ah, ah, ah. You need to call, hi, hoo, 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 your mouth. And the right part, Like number four, okay? You need a you call four times. to be called. It's made up of a mouth. You need your mouth. And number four, you call four times, okay? Jiao to be called. Got it? Okay, good job. Jiao. And the next one. Xing. Xing means surname or to be surnamed. The so-called surname just like a family name. Your last name, okay? Surname to be surnamed. Your last name or your, yeah, people give you the last name. Okay, Xing. Let's try to analyze this character. Do you remember this part? The big body. Do you remember this one? Yup. It means female. That's right. It means female. And the right part. Do you remember this one? Look, look like a what? Look like a person, right? Look like a person slanted there. And the next part. A. A. Is a dirt. Earth. Let me take this into parts. You have the female. You have a person. You have a third. Put them together. Xing means surname to be surnamed. What does that mean? It means female. Okay. If you want to be surnamed, first you need to be born. And female give you birth. Left side, female. Right side means birth. You birth. When people were born, birth. How do it look like a birth? What does it mean? Look at this. A person. Okay, it's a person, right? And a fall on top of what? Soil. Dirt. We were angels flying in the sky, but one day we decided, okay, let's go have some fun. We fall in dirt. You were born, okay, birth. So, and who give you birth? Lady give you birth. Female give you birth. So, female give birth together. Xin. Surname, to be surname. Okay, now we learned a lot of characters today. Let's put them together, check what we can have. Okay, we know 我, I, 叫, to be called. 我, 叫, I am called. Yani, that's my name. Yani. Wo Tiao Yani means my name is Yani. I am called Yani. Wo Tiao Yani. Okay, let, let's try this one. 
我，still hand and dagger. 我姓 surname lady person for on top of dirt. Right. 我姓 Walter. 我姓 Walter. I am surnamed Walter. Okay, that's my last name. Let's put them together. 我叫Yani. Uh, if your name is not Yani, change it into any name, okay? Probably your name may be Alice. Let's change it into Alice. Okay. 我姓 Walter. That's my last name. Uh, maybe you have a different last name. Smith. 我姓 Smith. Then it means I am called Alice. My surname is Smith. I'm all I'm surnamed Smith. Okay. Now you know how to introduce yourself in Chinese by writing. I'm speaking. Let's have a look at our note again. At the very beginning, look at this note. What does this note mean? Yep, it says, it says, 你好,我叫Yani. 我姓Walter. Okay, what does it mean? All right. It means hello. I am called Yani. I am surnamed Walter. Do you know how to write a note to me now? Okay. Practice. You will be able to write a self introduction note and you will be able to introduce yourself orally in Chinese. For more information, you can go to www.learnchinesethroughstories.com. Okay, nice to see you again. Bye-bye.